welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today i am going to talk about the due date how do we set the due date what's up with the due date what is my approach for the due date and how can we make our due date as efficient and precise as possible so conventionally doctors will set the due date of your birth at your last period before you found out you were pregnant okay so that is okay but it does pose some issues um, essentially what I have been finding is that for example as you see here the last day of my period was May 23rd and my ovulation didn't occur until 19 days later so I will proceed to explain why that's problematic, um, especially in a hospital setting. So if you set your due date two weeks before you find out you're pregnant, depending on when you find out you're pregnant, or your last, sorry, your last period before you find out you're pregnant, um, typically ovulation will happen 14 days after your last period. And then your next period, right, is the missed one because that's when you essentially realize that you're pregnant. Now. I want to emphasize the importance of tracking your period, so if you're not already tracking your period, explore. Explore all of the different options of applications, I mean, it's pretty, it can be very simple if you make it very simple, and it can be very complicated if you make it very complicated. But the benefits of tracking your period is that you know with fair a fair amount of accuracy when you ovulate, and you also know when you conceive. So the issue with the due date that doctors place is that you don't really know when you ovulated, you don't really know when you conceive, and this issue doesn't become apparent until later on in the pregnancy. So the issue that I personally have with this is, so let's say you didn't find out you were pregnant until about five weeks in. Okay, five weeks in, two weeks prior to ovulation, you set the clock. So what that means is you have a, a four week window, two weeks before or two weeks after your birth that you could be actually due. The problem here is that most hospitals will not allow women to go over 42 weeks pregnant. So if you begin to stress out at 40 weeks that you're not having a baby, it's probably because you're not actually due. So what I've had to do is I've had to turn my clock backwards two weeks because I had gone with the safer option, right? Not really trusting myself or my body initially. Um, and I set my due date for the last period before I learned that I was pregnant. But because I have been tracking my period for the past six years, I've been off birth control for the past two years and my period has been consistent almost this whole entire time. Obviously it takes time, right? For us to get back into a flow but it is possible. Ladies, this is another example that we can take control over our bodies, that we can have agency, and that we can have certainty that we know what's happening. We don't need to give our power away to doctors. We don't need to give our power away to medical professionals. They are wonderful to lean on and they are great resources, but you are with yourself every day. You are the one taking care of yourself every day. During your pregnancy, it's, it's you, yourself, and your baby. So, I highly recommend tracking your period so that you know when you ovulate, and most likely, most likely, right? Not in all cases, but it's very likely <laughs> that if you are intimate with your partner and you have sperm in your vagina, you, you will get pregnant, <laughs> you will conceive. And you have the power to decide. If you track your period, you know. You know, hey, I'm going to ovulate in two days. So all of the power is in your hands, baby girl. You get to say, yeah, this is a good opportunity. This is the time. So I essentially was like, I'm going to rush and roulette this bitch. Because, <laughs> um, because it, was, it was about time, you know, for us to embark on this journey and I had control. I could have said, nope, we're not doing this today. We're going to wait however so many days right after ovulation, which is typically about five. 
um, to be intimate, but we were ready. So take the power back into your own hands, decide and put your date, be sure, and connect with your body. As you're tracking your period, be aware. Be aware of the signs that your body's giving you. On the day that I ovulated, June 10th, I, I got I got some feedback. I got a little, this isn't a period cramp, what is this? It was just, you know, just like a little, a little pressure here and there and intuitively I was like, wow, I think, I think this is it. We're, we're conceiving and so by the time June 24th came around, right, 14 days after my ovulation, when my period was supposed to happen, it didn't. And right then and there, I knew. I knew I was pregnant. I took a pregnancy test and the pregnancy test was like, eh, eh, we're really not sure, but I knew. So it is possible to take total and complete control over your bodies, ladies. It is possible for you to get ahead of the game of your, if you're pregnant, if you're trying to get pregnant, there are so many things that you can do to prepare. And this is why it's so, so crucial for you to have control over your due date rather than having somebody else telling you when you're due, especially if you're gonna have a hospital birth because there are so many parameters and limitations put around your birth when it comes to timing um, in all of the different ways. So I empower you to start tracking your period today just so that you can get to know your body, but especially if you're trying to get pregnant, especially if you wanna have a family, you be your own clock master. Thank you everybody for joining. Again, my name is Rosa. I am a life coach. I have a coaching practice where I empower conscious individuals to continue to fulfill their highest self-expression in so many different ways. Uh, please do join me on October 6th. I will be live on YouTube talking about the building blocks of orgasmic birth. My intention here in my birthing process is to have an orgasmic birth, to have an exciting pregnancy, to have a wonderful process and experience, and to really bring in this little life uh, in the best possible way that I can. If you feel so called to contribute directly, please do check out my Venmo below. I am a independent human being, and so the way that I bring in abundance is gonna be different. If you wanna follow more and check out my content, please do follow me on Instagram at queen underscore of underscore duality. I am so happy to be here with you today, and I hope this content served you. If it did, please do comment below. Click on the notification bell to see my other videos and also subscribe. If you want to check it out on a daily, I will be posting videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you, lovelies. Take care.